Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on working with IIS Web Server and FTP services in Windows Server 2008 R2. Now you can see that I've got a remote desktop connection to a Windows 2008 R2 server. And I've got the server manager open. I just clicked right here, down here in the bottom. I've got my server manager open. And I actually have, these are the roles that I have installed. Active Directory, Domain Services, DNS Server, File Services, and Web Server. So I already have it installed. So if you're just installing this for the first time, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add that role. So you'll click on Roles, and you'll click Add Roles, let's say. All right. All right, and then you'll get this dialog box and you'll hit next and then you can add your web server right here. So you'll check mark this and then once you've check marked that you can add the different features too I believe that will come with the web server and then click installed. If you're not sure about what features to install I'm gonna go down here now and I'll scroll down to my web server because I need to make sure that I have FTP installed because I'm gonna plan on doing an FTP component. So I'm going to go down here to the web server. There's the web server right here, web server IIS, and I'm going to add role services, right? Or actually it's it's um, grayed out here because it looks like I've got all of the services installed, right? So if I scroll down here I can see all the services installed and I've got FTP server installed. So I have installed everything. If I wanted to get rid of something, I would click here, remove role services, and I could uncheck some of these pieces, right? But what you're going to want to do is just check them, make sure you have FTP server installed, and most of these components. Okay. So now that we have um, web services installed, the web server installed, we can highlight it over here in the server manager under roles. We open up our roles highlight web server. You can see that it's started here. We can stop and restart some of these different services here. We can see which services are running, right? Um, I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to select Internet Information Services Manager and then the main window here will give us the tools for working with IIS. Okay, what I want to do is I want to get this working so that we can have a web page. Now right now, um, if I open up a web page here and I type in the IP address of my server. Let's see here. You can see that I've got forbidden access is denied, right? So right now I'm not pulling up a web page. Even though the web server is running, I've got access is denied. So we're going to have to fix that and get a web page and get all that up and running, right? So what I'm going to do is highlight this. Okay, with the server selected here, here's my server, I get all these configuration tools in the center. Now if you highlight the server, right, and you configure, you uh, run configurations with these tools here, you can see they're categorized. Here's the ASP tools, here's the FTP tools, here's the IIS tools, and here's some, at the bottom there's some management tools, right? Also I can stop and restart the server here. But if you make configurations here, these are going to be global configurations that will um, affect all of your websites, right? And one thing that we can do right off the bat is we know we're going to run some secure stuff, right? We could add a, a security certificate right here. So server certificates, right? It's under IIS, right? So I'm here under IIS and I'll scroll down here, server certificates, right? And if I've purchased a certificate for my domain name or for a domain name, I can add it right here with this tool. So I'll double click on it, right? And you can see that I, I don't have any uh, server certificates, right? This is uh, just on a LAN, this is in the lab. So I'm gonna create a self-signed certificate. So I'll just create a self-signed certificate here and say, my certificate, yay, and click OK. Okay, so you can see I have that certificate right there. Now I'm going to click back on here, and I'm actually open this up, and you can see here we've got application pools and then sites, and this is wh where our websites will be, and we'll open that up, and you can see that we have a default website right here. Now, this default website, 
I have because this server is actually an exchange server, a mail server. So if I open that up, you'll see that I have a lot of these different areas that are used with exchange server, right? And I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. I need a little bit more room to work with this here. Okay. All right. So anyway, you can see here the all of these things right here work with exchange, right? And typically exchange works in secure in a secure fashion. So, if I go back to that website here, and I change this HTTP and then the IP address of my web server and I change it to HTTPS right you can see that it actually brings something up and I can hit continue to this website and I can actually see my web server so my web server is delivering a page on HTTPS but not on just HTTP and that's interesting right well and that's because of this exchange stuff and why is that because with HTTPS we want to put a forward slash OWA and reach our um, Outlook web app which is needs to happen usually over a secure protocol so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here right and I did that from my client computer not from within the server that last browser window I opened up was from my laptop not from this remote desktop session that I have here. See, this is a remote desktop session. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this default website, right? And I'm going to scroll down to IIS. And now with this default website selected, I've got another category down here, and that is SSL settings. And so I'll double click on that, and I'm going to uncheck require SSL, right? and I'll click apply alright and when I do that it's gonna globally affect all of these different areas possibly so if I go to OWA now select OWA and scroll down let's check our SSL settings you'll see that it doesn't have require SSL but I know that I need it for OWA so with OWA selected I will do it so I'll scroll down again I've got it selected notice it's selected here SSL settings and require right and I'll hit apply but my default website if we select that right and scroll down I should still have it off yep and it's off so now if I go to my laptop and open up that web browser notice this web browser is separate right from my client you can see that my HTTPS still works, right? My secure website still works, but now I should be able to also go to HTTP, right? Colon 92.168.41.190 and bring up just the web page. And let's see if we can do that. All right, and there it is. So you can see that now my default web page for my web server is showing up on HTTP. And we got that going because we turned off the SSL setting for the default website, right? Okay, next thing. For this default website, what I'm also going to want to do is, and I'll just collapse this, I'm going to also, I'm going to select it, go back, and I'm going to scroll under IIS settings to the um, default document, right? And this will be the default home page. And what I'm going to do is double click that. I'm going to say I want the default document to be the index.html page, and I'm going to move that up. Okay, so we just move it up one step at a time so that it's top of the order. So now index.html takes precedence over default.htm and these other files, right? Now, the question is, do I have an index.html file? Now, to take a look at that, I'll take this default website, I'll right-click on it, and I'll go Explore. And if you right-click on it and hit Explore, you'll find out where your web directory is, right? So here's your web directory, and you can see it's in the C drive, 
under a folder called init pub under a folder called www root and you can see in here there's the IIS start page but there's no index.html page so I'm gonna make one now 